Light year is a very large distance, right? The light, a light year is the distance that light travels in a year. And light travels at a blindingly fast speed, 300,000 kilometers every second. So if you think about that for an entire year, that light's gone a very long way. Um, so already a light year is a very large unit. For some reason, astronomers really don't like using light years. I've never, it's, it's, I think it's slightly a snobbish thing that you know, they're, they're kind of there in science fiction and therefore you know, real scientists don't use them. And so astronomers instead tend to use this, instead tend to use this unit called the parsec. Um, which is actually, it's sort of comparable in size to, to a light year. A, a parsec is about three light years, so it's a bit bigger than a light year. Parsec is actually, it's an abbreviation, it's short for a parallax arc second. And well, let's deal with the second part of that first. An arc second is a unit of angle. So if you divide a circle up into 360 degrees and then each of those degrees is divided into 60 arc minutes and then each of those arc minutes is divided into 60 arc seconds. So an arc second is 1 3,600th of a degree, which is then 1 360th of a circle, which just basically means it's a very, very small angle. So it's an arc second. So that's the, the angle side of it, the arc second side of it. Now the parallax side of it. Um, Parallax is uh, it's used all the time. Um, in fact, you use it every day whenever you're estimating the distance to something relatively nearby. Um, and it's a sort of a, the, the most direct way of experiencing parallax is something that, that I suspect everyone is sort of familiar with, which is if you hold your finger up in front of your nose and then you shut one eye and then you shut the other eye, your finger appears to jump relative to the things in the background, which is just basically because your eyes are looking at your finger from slightly different directions and so you see a slightly different background behind it depending on which eye you're looking through. And that effect, the thing moving, uh, is, the, is the, the, the effect of parallax. In fact, the word parallaxis is Greek. It means change. It basically means that you're changing your perspective. And so you see things, see things move. And of course, you use that in everyday life um, in order to estimate the distances to things. Your eyes all the time are looking at things from slightly different directions. So that's parallax in everyday life. You can play exactly the same game in astronomy. You can measure the parallax of things. Um, you can actually see if an astronomical object is relatively nearby, it moves relative to the things in the background just because you, if you view it from two slightly different directions. Now in that case it's no good using your eyes because they're just too close together and so actually because the distances involved are so enormous the parallaxes are tiny. Um, and so what you need is to observe an astronomical object from two points which are a long way apart. Now one way of doing that is to have two observatories on Earth that are kind of separated by a large distance but in fact in astronomy we can do even better than that which is that all you have to do is take a picture and then wait for six months and of course the Earth goes around the Sun and then take another picture and then you've actually moved your baseline, the direction from which you're looking at by a large amount, by twice the distance between the Earth and the Sun. And so by making those kind of measurements you can actually see nearby stars for example move around, that the relatively nearby star when you view it uh, make one observation of it and then wait six months and make another observation of it, the star has moved and in fact if you make a whole series of observations the star just kind of wobbles backwards and forwards. And obviously the further away the star is, the less and less it wobbles. Even the closest stars wobble by a tr really truly tiny amount, this amount of, of order an arc second. So the parallax of the closest stars is about an arc second or thereabouts. So putting all this back together again, the, the definition of a parsec, this parallax arc second, it's, it's the distance to an object where it wobbles backwards and forwards by one arc second over the course of a year. And as I say, the closest stars, the parallax is about an arc second. So the closest by stars, which are about one parsec away, that means they wobble backwards and forwards over the course of a year by about one arc second or thereabouts. So that's the definition of a parsec. To, to, to put this in perspective, it really is a very tiny angle. An arc second is something like the width of a human hair viewed from maybe 20 meters away. So that's kind of how small an arc second is. So that's how little these stars are wobbling backwards and forwards. But it says something about the precision with which we can make astronomical measurements now that we can easily measure those kind of uh, parallaxes. The largest parallaxes that we measure are around an arc second, so that, which means that the closest objects are around a parsec and they're things like nearby stars. So the, the nearby stars in the Milky Way are around a parsec away. If you want to measure scales within the Milky Way, so where, you know, how, how far it is to the other side of the galaxy or how far it is to the centre of our galaxy, then you're talking about thousands of parsecs, so we usually call that a kiloparsec. And so, for example, the distance to the centre of our galaxy is somewhere around 8,000 parsecs or 8 kiloparsecs away. So if you want to measure distances within the, the Milky Way, you usually use kiloparsecs. If you want to measure distances to other galaxies, then typically there are millions of parsecs away. So nearby galaxies are, are, are maybe some decent fraction of a megaparsec. The, the Andromeda galaxy, for example, our nearest neighbour, is some large fraction of a megaparsec away. Um, the nearest cluster of galaxies, so the nearest dense collection of galaxies, the Virgo cluster is about 15 megaparsecs away. 
And then finally, if you want to measure things on kind of the scale of the observable universe, the most distant measures that we can get, there you're talking about distances of around a billion parsecs. So again, we typically use a gigaparsec rather than, than putting all those zeros in.